All right, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mr. Benjamin, and I'm the presidential candidate of the fictional Common Sense People's Party. Now, if hypocrisy was a human being, his first name would have been Oshomole, and his second name would be Wicked. Now, let's start from Oshomole. Oshomole came out in a video yesterday, and he said Tinubu inherited a very bad government, very terrible economy from Buhari. This is the same Oshomole who was the national chairman of APC for four years plus under Buhari. And every time people came out to complain about the level of poverty and the poor policies of Buhari, Oshomole would say, no, they should keep quiet that Buhari is the best thing to ever happen to Nigeria. But now, because of what he wants to eat from Tinubu, he is now coming out to say, ah, ah, Tinubu inherited a very terrible economy from the same Buhari that he was praising. And Nigerians came down on him heavily in the comment section. But before I show you that video, let me quickly tell you the recent developments on the all eyes on the judiciary matter. Now, that hashtag, that trend has put serious pressure on the APC and Tinubu to the point that Tinubu has now ordered that they should pull down the all eyes on the judiciary billboards in Abuja, that they should start pulling everything down. You can see the level of pressure that that thing is putting on them. And by so doing, he gave the all eyes on the judiciary hashtag more popularity because before the mainstream media were not covering it. But after he ordered that those things be pulled down, the People's Gazette, Punch Newspaper, AIT, everybody on Kakaki, the discussion of all eyes on the judiciary is now everywhere. Look at the video. With the inscription, all eyes on the judiciary that was erected in Abuja a few days ago has been removed. Such billboards have been making the rounds on social media and have also made it in a few other states. Now, the essence, according to the sponsors, is to remind the presidential election petition tribunal that Nigerians are watching as a date for final judgment of the presidential election draws near. Now, this one in Abuja, according to a supporter of the APC, Woye, on air, if you want to call it Twitter, on Twitter, it says he breached due process and the violators will be investigated and have their licenses retrieved. But in reaction to this, Adebo Wale says, very good, because there is law in this country and we should try as much as, and we should try to obey the law. This country should not be a kangaroo kingdom. For human rights lawyer F. Young, it says removal of billboards stating all eyes on the judiciary is a violation of the constitutional right to freedom of expression. There is nothing inciting in this message and no one should be targeted for that. The law allows the court to be amendable, to amenable to criticisms and scrutiny. But reacting to him, Chris says it is an act of intimidation of the judiciary and you know that counsel that's responding to him. But more reactions, Victor says any evidence to prove that due process was not followed we already know why they want to remove the billboard but the interesting thing is that the message has already been passed it has achieved its purpose it is what it is it is what it is for Nelson he said personally there is no major issue with a statement on the billboard regardless of who you support Tinubu Atiku or Obi everyone's eyes right now is on the tribunal of judges. I mean, I heard that um, the DG of the Advertising Regulatory Council of Nigeria, Akon, that's Olalekon Fadolakpo, has queried the director of regulations over his approval of this advert, saying that the advert is capable of instigating public unrest and breach of public peace as it is a clear blackmail against the Nigerian judiciary. You've seen that. And I believe you saw tribalism and senseless partisanship play out there. The first tweet from Adeba Wale said, The removal is good, that laws must be followed. And that is utter foolishness. How does that billboard violate the law? Then the DG advertising a certain Olalekon said, All eyes on the judiciary is a blackmail of the judiciary. How is asking the judiciary to do the right thing a blackmail? Eh? Anyways, thank you, Tinubu, for the free and unsolicited adverts because now all eyes on the judiciary trends more than it has ever trended we keep our eyes on the judiciary with or without the billboards we have the stickers on cars 
Keke na pep. Don't post all over the country. So, nothing we will have to do about that one. Now, let me show you that shameful video from Adams Oshomole. See the video. Uh, the government inherited uh, a terrible economic situation. Everybody knows it. The government inherited uh, a, an economy in which our total national revenue uh, was uh, barely enough to service our debt body, spending 96%, which is to say every 96 kobo, every war in era Nigeria and 96 kobo is going to repay debts, to service debts. So you have only four kobo left to pay all the salaries. So nothing can be worse. But they came determined that they will have to do business unusual to arrest the drift, you know, stabilize the economy. You heard that. And there is nothing more shameless than being an APC supporter, than being a man like Adam Zushomole. And this one has children at home. How do his children look at him? And Nigerians were not having it. Look at some of the tweet reactions. This tweet says, this man is so shameless. Which government are you talking about? Same government you campaigned as being excellent and that Tinubu is coming to continue from their stead? This same government that was governed by all of you? God forbid. Shameless man. God will never forgive you all. And this tweet says, Wasn't Oshomole one of Buhari's praise singers? Politicians are shameless. Mm. And this tweet says, They are less wicked compared to their supporters. How would someone in the right frame of mind defend these people it beats my imagination seriously how would a normal human being support apc and this tweet says he inherited it from the same person bola tinubu helped get to power all of them are without brains oh and there were thousands of nigerians in the comment section of this video blasting oshomole and apc supporters now in other news a group serap has sued Akpabio and Abbas for their reckless spending of Nigeria's money. They are, they are looting of the treasury. See the video. Social Economic Rights and Accountability Project over the weekend filed a lawsuit against Senate President Godswill Akpabio and Speaker of the House of Representatives Tajuddin Abbas over the plan to spend 40 billion naira on 465 exotic and bulletproof cars for members and principal officers of the Senate, as well as 70 billion naira as palliatives for new members. The suit is coming on the heels of Godswill Akpabio's statement, in which he revealed that the clerk of the National Assembly had sent holiday allowances into the various bank accounts of senators. Serap is seeking an order to restrain Akpabio and Abbas from demanding or receiving the 40 billion naira on exotic cars and other exorbitant expenses until an assessment of the socio-economic impact of the spending on millions of poor Nigerians is carried out in the interest of the public, among other requests. Dr. Vati, you know that Serap is always doing the Lord's work. I think that this is coming at the right time, as always. Well, I mean, we've been on this matter since yes. July. And the contest was uh, President Tinubu submitting a supplementary appropriation bill for 2023, mm -hmm. asking for more money to be able to uh, pursue the budget. But in the uh, uh, process of considering that uh, application by the president, the uh, National Assembly then decided to add 110 billion of their own to it. Mm -hmm. This 110 mm -hmm. billion has been defined variously, mm -hmm. either as palliatives for the lawmakers, 109 of them in the Senate, 360 of them in the uh, House of Representatives. And uh, you recall that Femi Falano SAN had uh, issued a statement at the time saying that it was illegal, insensitive, and contemptuous mm -hmm. at a time of uh, grave crisis and poverty in the country for 109 plus 360 persons who are supposed to be representatives of the people claiming that they alone want to take 130 billion uh, to, for palliatives. Now, that's more than the profit declared by the whole CBN of Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> as a uh, recent statement by the CBN has pointed I out. I mean. Well, that is how the system is right now. 
Corruption is the password. Setup can sue all they want, but politicians will never change. And after looting the treasury, they hide under tribe and religion and they get away with it. And fools like Adebo Wale in the first video will come out and support his quote unquote Yoruba brother. Serap was talking about millions of poor Nigerians. Well, those millions are terribly divided. The strength in their number has been eroded by religious and tribal sentiments. If the poor can unite and say enough is enough, this country will be fixed sooner than anyone could ever imagine. But until then... <laughs> Make I see enter town. Make I go get some Ogbonge political news. Where will I go like? Why? Because now, because of now, now I have Kukuma Day here. So, don't go away. <laughs>